All right, back now with our big board. A legal battle brewing in Hollywood over the hit FX series Feud, which chronicles that infamous rivalry between uh, Betty Davis and Joan Crawford. Yes, on Friday, screen legend Olivia de Havilland hitting the production with a lawsuit over her portrayal by Oscar winner Catherine Zeta-Jones, claiming it paints her in a false light. Take a look. The 1963 Oscars. I have to say that's when things took such an ugly turn. Not that everything was sunshine and lollipops up until then, but it was the Academy Awards that year when it became the point of no return for both Betty and Joan. All right, so let's bring in some insiders. Complex Magazine's Alex Gale is here at the table. Good morning, Alex. Thanks for coming in. Also uh, joining us is legal analyst Ariva Martin. She's in Los Angeles. Uh, Ariva, let me start with you. Olivia de Havilland is a two-time Oscar winner. She's famous for movies like Gone with the Wind. What can you tell us about this lawsuit? Well, Dan, first of all, she says that scene that we just watched never happened and that other scenes in the series never happened and that she's painted in a negative light as a gossiper. She's suing FX and Ryan Murphy, saying they violated her right to publicity, that they used her name, her likeness, and her image without her consent for commercial purposes, and she wants damages. All right, and Alex Feud, by the way, I loved it, watched the entire series, but this is just the latest in a string of series that have faced lawsuits. Does this, is this going to affect anything moving forward? Uh, it could definitely affect things going forward, but, you know, there, there's definitely all of these biopics, there's a ton coming out, there's been a surge in demand. You see uh, there was the NWA film, Straight Outta Compton, that sort of set off this new craze and Ryan Murphy's own O.J. Simpson uh, series. And you know, there's so many stakeholders you have to check off. There's the, the family members, the estates, and of course the fans, and they all have a huge platform, especially on social media. You saw with the Tupac film, All Eyes on Me, it was slammed by Jada Pinkett Smith over her portrayal in the film. And you saw with the Nina Simone biopic, it was, was really picked apart for years, even yeah. before it came out on social media. So I think you're going to see this continue to happen, <laughs> but it, it's just you know part of the game. And so. the demand is so high that people want to see these movies. That NWA movie was amazing. Yeah. Or even lawyers uh, for Olivia de Havilland are at pushing for a speedy trial here because of her age. But is it hard when you're a public figure to take people to task when they use your likeness? It can be challenging, Dan. A couple of things in this lawsuit. One, she's likely to get that preferential treatment because she is over 70, and California law allows her to proceed to trial more quickly. But to the merits of her case, the Straight Out of Compton case is a good example. Uh, Jerry Heller, in that case, sued the producers of the movie, claiming that uh, the depiction of him by Paul Giamatti painted him in a negative light. And the court ruled that the public interest defense that's rooted in the First Amendment allowed the producers to move forward with that movie without uh, suffering any kind of uh, claims because the matter was in the public arena. And I think uh, Mr. Havilland is going to face a similar First Amendment defense that may make her lawsuit very challenging. The price of fame. Exactly. All right, Ariva and Alex, I want to thank you both very much for joining us this morning. <laughs>